Hi, how are you? And welcome to my channel. Uh, we continue with our new uh, serial about the immigration to Canada. As I said today, uh, we are in August 2023, and we are speaking today about the National Occupation Classification, or what you will hear as knock and tears. What does that mean? How you can find the knock of your job? The number is very important because depending on that number, or the tier you are in, uh, according to the Canadian classification, you can find uh, the pathway for your uh, immigration process. So it is very important, and you will hear this word "knock" a lot uh, during uh, my 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 um, episodes, or maybe other people speaking about it. So let's let's basically go and find the knock. What is the knock or the national classification? occupation in Canada. Basically, you go to a Google search and write NOC, and you will see the first one, find your national occupation classification. Here is telling you about this and how. So there are six tiers, starting with the tier zero, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, and tier five, okay? This is very important to know the tier your, 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 your uh, job is in. So basically, management occupations are the highest in tiers, so tier zero. Then occupation that usually require a university degree, like financial advisors and software engineers are tier one. Tier two, occupation usually you require a college degree and two years of training and supervisory uh, occupation like computer network technicians and stuff like that, medical laboratory technician. Tier three, usually occupation needs diploma, two years or more than six months of job training like bakers, dental assistant or dental laboratory assistant. Tier four, they are the occupation usually require a high school diploma, so are they are lower. So as you see, we're going lower in, in, in uh, requirement for education. Uh, several weeks of training, like home child care provider, uh, retail store, merchants. Uh. Tier five is the occupation that usually need short term of work demonstration and not formal education like landscaping, ground maintenance, and stuff like that. So if you think about knock, okay, you will see this uh, uh, table in, in front of you, and it's telling you the tier catalogs. You can go one by one, and you can see the number, which is the knock code, and the name. So basically, as you see, for example, let's say, uh, these are all tier zero, so they are management. For example, financial managers, human resource manager, purchasing managers, other administration services manager, all you see manager, brokerage manager, investment managers, public and relation managers, uh, other business services manager, telecommunication managers, engineering managers. So let's go if I see, yeah. So these tier fives, okay, we, we went from tier one. So if you go to you will see all these managers, home building renovation managers, manager in agriculture, manager, manager in uh, aquaculture, horticulture, whatever, all the human resource professionals. Now we're going to tier one. As you see, the difference now, financial ad auditors and accountants, human resource professionals, all these jobs are tier one. If you go then, like uh, 11, 13. So in, in page 14, you will start tier two, which is a supervisor or general office. So basically you can list, there are 51 pages of, like, let's see, I am a dentist. Which tier it is? It's tier one and 31110. Like, uh, let's say I'm a teacher. So, Secondary school teacher is tier one. Elementary and secondary school teacher assistants is tier three. So as you see, uh, let's see, uh, Baker is tier three. Let's see, electrician, uh, electrical, in, like everything, like electrical engineer, electricians is tier two. 
uh, electrical mechanics, for example, too. Uh, what, what else? Like these are the uh, maybe translate translators are tier one. This is the code. So you need to know your occupation and the code. But let me be clear. In Canada, they do not care a lot about your uh, educational background. Educational background gives you uh, credit, gives you uh, credits for your application and gives you uh, points for the application, especially in express entry. But the most important is the experience you have. For example, you, you, you had a degree in engineering, but you worked for the past 10 years as a manager in an engineering company or in an oil gas company. So you will count as a, a manager, okay? Another example, uh, you have a degree in bakery, okay? But you worked as a, a hotel uh, and hospitality managers, so you will be counting as managers. So you, you will count your knock according to the uh, experience you had, not the degree you had. So the degree is a good thing; it will give you credit. But if I am a dentist and I work as a dentist, so this is will be my tier tier one, and that's the number. But if I were a dentist and I worked as a medical managers, I will be a manager tier. I hope it's clear. Hope to see you soon in the next episode. Have a nice day.